So we're going up there. Let's start the climb. It's just to stay right along the spine. Tallest dune in North America. Whoa! Woo! We're in Colorado. We want to welcome to Great Sand Dunes National Park. Today, we're going to try some sliding. So we're going to begin at this store that's just outside the National Park. See if we can rent ourselves a sled. I kind of want to go with that snowboard, but I think we'll go on the conservative side and take the sled. We'll take the sled. This is the board. There's the board right there. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun, but it uh, takes a little more a skill, right? You want two of those? Or <laughs> yeah. A little more skill on that one? Yep, a lot more skill. All right, let's just go with the sled. The sled? So just sit here, grab here with your hands, feet down there. On the back, when you get up there, hey, you gotta like take the wax, kind of smear it all over the back, just like this here. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out the nozzle. All the way down the whole board? All the way down the whole board. One okay. wax good for the whole day? Nope, you gotta do it every time you slide down. Okay. Um, just buffer it until it's nice and slickery. After that, you should be good to go. Gotcha. Like all right, sounds good. Hey, thanks for your time. You're very welcome. Enjoy chatting thanks with you. Thanks for coming down. Oh, my pleasure. We'll see you. Yep. Back by four, right? Yes, by four. What do you recommend in terms of a hike on the map here? Okay, so you're gonna go to the uh, Dunes parking lot as your main hike, and then you go up to the top of the first ridge of Dunes. That takes about two hours round trip. And then the uh, Star Dune, that's kind of like end of the line that people hike Star to usually? about a five hour round trip. For that one, you wanna skip the high dune and you wanna go down the creek bed, about two miles until you see the big pyramid shaped dune come into view, and then take a ridge straight up to the uh, top of the Star Dune. Gotcha, okay, so five hour round trip, Two hour round trip, yep. roughly. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Very helpful. So, the goal today is to hike to the top of the Star Dune. That is the tallest dune, not only in the park, but the tallest dune in North America. We're going to climb up and then we'll sled back down. At least that's the plan. Here we go. So this is the first ridge right here. That's High Dune. This is also the sand dune that is closest to the parking lot. And as you can see by the small dots of people probably that are walking back and forth, uh, this is the dune that most people will visit. It's the one if you want to climb a dune or sled down a dune, this is your destination. And if you're wondering, that first dune is 700 feet tall. So we got a small little hill right here. Let's give the sled a shot. Wow, this really works pretty good. Should just be walking down. Just a warm up. Many bigger hills to come. And the nice thing about this as well is that you are permitted to sled anywhere in the park as long as you don't slide over any vegetation. So we're going up there. Let's start the climb. It's a nice workout. 
goal of this is just to stay right along the spine or else you're gonna continue to be going up and down. So there's a ridge that'll take us, it looks like almost to the top. It took me two and a half hours to get to this point, and I have to have this board back in two and a half hours. So I need to turn around. It's a nice excuse. Physically, I don't know. So the big question is, do I take the direct angular shot to the parking lot, which I can see way off in the distance? Only problem with that is I'm gonna run into a virtual maze of sand dunes, which doesn't present, present difficulty of navigation because I pretty much know the direction I need to go but it could be a lot of up and downs or do I just retrace my steps and go back the way I came which is going to be about twice as long gotta get moving I need to get this board back in two and a half hours it sure does feel good to lay here right now and by the way Star Dune would have been 755 feet if I would have made it to the top you know I'm just procrastinating now but I was remembering when my family came here for the first time in 2014. Oh, so many good memories. You know what? Let me just break away from this video and show you a couple clips from that trip six years ago. miles away from the closest person right now all right I'm going back right now here we go That'll do it for Great Sand Dunes National Park. Never did make it to the top of Star Dune. Simply ran out of energy, I mean time. Wink, wink. But no, I really do need to get this back. It's due back in an hour. The ride back was a lot quicker than the ride up. Still a great time. Enjoyed myself tremendously. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to America's Parks. And remember, always room for you on every National Park adventure.